What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. And today, Samsung One UI 5.0 beta has fully leaked, thanks to the people over at 9to5Google. I don't have it running on my device yet, but that should be coming very soon. And of course, we'll have tons of videos on the features and reviews. But today I wanna to talk about the features that have been leaked by Max Weinbach at 9to5Google. First of all, I am using, once again, the beautiful, you guys, I apologize for my desk. My desk is a little messy here in the background today. Doing a little bit of a summer cleaning, if you will. This is the beautiful Lamical height adjustable stand right here. I absolutely love this guy. I showed this off to you guys in a previous video, and this stand is absolutely beautiful. You can see the Lamical branding. It's really nice because this stand allows me to easily display the S22 Ultra for you guys and then not have to move it around too much when I'm making my videos. I can also keep it in the center frame. If you guys wanna check out the Lamical stand, this particular one, which is the height adjustable one, I'll drop the link below in the description and the pinned comment. You can pick it up from Amazon. They have great deals going on right now this week. It's Amazon Prime Day this week, so check that out in the link in the description and the pinned comment. So let's get into it today. Uh, all of these leaks are courtesy of my good friend, Max Weinbach over at 9to5Google. This is his article. Uh, and as I said, I'm not claiming this is my work, so I'm just going to go through the screenshots that he has posted and kind of show you guys. Because some of you guys follow me, you might not watch or read 9 to 5 Google. There have been some changes to the notification shade. Uh, namely, the icons have been changed here and the opacity with the notification shade. This is One UI 5 here. You can see you've got a little more see-through notification shade. The icons have been compactified a little bit. This is the old version here, right here, on One UI uh, 4.0, 4.1. You guys can see a huge difference. Honestly, there's a pretty big difference in the layout. So that's, you know, maybe not be a big thing to some people, but I think it's kind of a big deal. Uh, stock Android permissions have been added. So instead of having permissions at the bottom of the screen, like we had with the current One UI, you see here in the current One UI, what you're gonna have now is you'll have the centered pop-up when you have permissions. So you can see here, Samsung Health pop-up for permissions. This is consistent with the current stock Android experience that you get on Google's Pixel phones. So Samsung's bringing things a little more in line there. Uh, the next thing is OCR in gallery and insert text from image on the keyboard. So you can see this is kind of like, you know, if you have a photo right here, you can easily highlight text inside the gallery app. This is gonna be default now, I guess, inside the gallery app. You can see here, Max took a picture of his iPhone and uh, he was able to then highlight all the text that was in his inbox from that photo inside the Samsung gallery. And that's really nice. Obviously, Apple's had this feature for a little while. There's also been some kind of pieces of this feature uh, in the Samsung browser and things like that as well. I got a little notification there for some fountain pens. I'm an avid fountain pen collector as well. But uh, you could do this inside the beta version of the Samsung internet app. And I actually talked about that a few weeks ago. It was also part of Bixby Vision, but now it's its, its own feature inside the gallery app which is kind of cool. And you can see as well here, he's comparing the iOS 16 version to One UI 5. So basically, they're kind of bringing in line with something that, that Apple did as well with the keyboard OCR. It's pretty much the same. If you have a text field, you can select to extract text, hold the camera up to anything and grab the text and insert it. So this is basically a very similar feature to what Apple brought. Um, and like I said, it's very, very similar to iOS. Security and Privacy Hub has been changed a little bit. This is the new version. It's definitely something that's there. Uh, the next thing is new multitasking gestures. And this might be the most interesting change for me, aside from the new smoother animations. In labs, you now have two new options for multitasking features. So you can see right here, this is one that I'm really the most excited about, swipe for split screen. So you can swipe up with two fingers from the bottom to change the split screen view and swipe again to switch apps. This is really nice for those who use um, split screen multitasking with this, you know, kind of just having two apps, picture in picture, and then also using the floating windows. This is nice if you're a big, heavy multitasking user. And then you can swipe from the top corner to get the pop-up view. So now you have a gesture that takes you into split screen, a gesture that takes you into pop-up view. If you're coming in and out of multitasking all the time like I do, then this is really a huge benefit and something that I'm glad Samsung added. That is in the labs feature, again. Um, and Max does mention that neither of them work in the build he's running, but that may not be the final public beta build that we see. He could be running a build that's based off of uh, the internal build from Samsung. 
And then there were four other features that are pretty small ones, I suppose. Uh, collaboration in Samsung Notes. This actually is a pretty useful feature if you're a professional, like I work at the university, for instance, this would be a great feature for sharing notes with my students or with other faculty members. Uh, active apps. So currently active app in the quick settings, you can see here, right there. Um, about phone, they changed the, uh, this to show the image of the device, which is kind of a nice aesthetic change. And then you have an ultra wideband toggle right here inside the connection settings. So both of those kind of, you know, small changes, a lot of small stuff here. Uh, the other thing that we saw, right, is the speeded up animations. And actually a couple of people have posted uh, videos of this over on Twitter. I'll link below to Max's tweet, as well as Ice Universe. They both have, in fact, if I can find it, I'll show you guys in the video, why not? It doesn't take that long. Um, Max has been covering Samsung forever. I've been following him since the beginning. Really one of the best people to follow if you love Samsung stuff. So definitely check that out. And uh, he and Ice Universe both posted this. So you can see here, here's the new animations right there that are in Samsung One UI 5. Uh, they do feel quite a bit snappier. Of course, it's gonna take getting it in hand and seeing it on my own device to know for sure, but it does look like Samsung's made improvements. So it seems like this could be one of the most boring One UI releases we've had in a while. Not a lot of new features, improved animations, some small tweaks here and there across the UI, but that might be a good thing because One UI 4.1 was already really good, very stable. Could just use some speed improvements and things like that. Anyway, I wanna let you guys know what's coming. As soon as I get a build that I can flash or join the public beta, I'll make a video about that. Tons of reviews of individual features and other videos and shorts of stuff like the animations myself, give you guys my impressions. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. You guys can also grab a Z Fold 4 pre-order mystery box if you're pre-ordering Samsung's foldables with the free case, cleaning kit, and stand if you're interested. Link in the description to my website. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.